Yeah, it was so funny. We was coming out the practice field here, and uh, one of the kids come around to me talking about, Coach Campbell, Coach Campbell, I just heard that uh, you're coming out of retirement for another year. I said, really? I said, where you hear that from? He said, I heard it on Twitter. I said, Twitter? He like, yeah. So I, he showed it to me, and I go check it out. I said, this is not me. Somebody had created a really nice looking page. It had uh, me in four different uniforms, and then it had a bow on me. And then it was making up different things. And I was like, well, at least, at least they got me looking right on my pictures. I was like, but this is not me. So someone had created a fake Twitter account. And uh, so I had to call my marketing people to see if they can get it down, get it deleted, and uh, try to get me a real Twitter account and verify a real Twitter account. So when people know it's actually me, because it's the second time this happened to me since I've been in the league that people will make up something and then I would get questioned about it, and it's not even me. So I'm just like, it's crazy, you know, how far social media has gone. And like I said, it's not me because it's not a verified account. And to know if it's a verified account for a professional athlete or someone, it will have verified, it has something that lets them know it's actually them. And no one actually paid attention to know that that wasn't me. But I was getting phone calls from ESPN, phone calls from former teammates and players. I'm like, hey man, I, I hear you about to get back out there, huh? So, so you ready? I said, man, that wasn't me. I said, I have lost weight, though. I feel good. I've eaten good. I was like, you know, I feel healthy. I was like, but no, nah, I'm not going back to play football because of what happened last week. And now I'm going to start becoming a Twitter person. So if someone's going to act like they're me, then why not let it be me?